Hello, everyone. Welcome to day number five. Let's move the truck. I should have a, 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 a whatchamacallit. Oh, I think my son already moved it. It was on five, so I think my son is doing it every morning now. <laughs> He's he, he's anxious to, to to get to to the to Christmas time. So let's say hello to everybody that's been here already. We got Alexander. He slides in and parks, and then Miss Robin. Then we got Larry, Miss Carmen, Mister Herb. Let's see who is. Mister Steve, Miss Tank. If I scroll past your, your comment and it, hi, Miss Liz. She says she'll be back later. Oh, there's a, a fly which is bothering me today. I don't. And Alexander says he waves like a crazy person to everyone in the chat. And Miss Liz saying, be, we'll be back soon. Hit that like button. Yes, hit that like button. Share me out. Hey, Miss Kimberly. Oh, that's a, a Kim, that's Miss Kimberly. Pajama quilter. So that's everybody so far. So, I'm going to show what I worked on yesterday, and then we'll start today's project. Where is it? Oh, here we go. I made this little booklet into an ornament. And it's got all kinds of little tucks and envelopes and stuff inside. You see? And I just turned it into, into an ornament. But I could, you know, I couldn't just stop at one. So I made a second one today. Not sure what I'm gonna make do with these. Someone suggested selling these, but I'm not sure. But this one has little side pockets, and then these guys have little pockets as well. See right here to hold little letters, and then another side pocket here to hold envelopes and stuff. Cause I downloaded, cause I, when I bought the Christmas one, I, I bought the Victorian one as well. So I started doing those as well. So this this is the just the just the shell. I haven't done the the the, the insides yet. But I, I'm not sure if if I would were to. Um, Pajama quilter says I ordered stuff to make some mini Christmas books of her own. Yay! I I love um inspiring others to create. Hi, Miss Sandra. Hi, Debbie. I'm scrolling up to see if I, if I missed anybody while I was showing those out. So Debbie and Miss Sandra came in while I was doing that. So hello. So I'm going to... Oh, I'm a bit... I slept good today. I actually um, had, I think, seven or eight hours of sleep, but... I guess it is making up for the lack of sleep for the other two days before that. So I'm going to switch my camera and stay tuned afterwards because I have an update on the on the on the unicorn. Wow, she says I have she has me on her phone, laptop, and TV. A triple a I can't say that word, triple threat. There you go. So I'm going to switch my camera. Oh, before I switch my camera, today's project is the fireplace. I've been asked to, to show how I made this fireplace. So I have a smaller box. So I'll give you a, an idea what um, how to make it. Let's, let's get these guys out of the way so you can actually see the inside. There you go. I got some 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 branches from the outside and, and put them on the inside here. And oh, if, if Miguel comes in, he had he had asked me about making an ornament with a chicken on it, and 
I made this yesterday or this morning. I can't. My days are all getting. I made a little chicken ornament and have Merry Christmas on the back. So I added a little green bow. Stay there. Hi, Nati. Okay. Let's see who anybody else came in. No, but that's it for now. Okay. Let's get to work. Switch cameras. Hello. Oh, it's a little. There you go. See, I got all the little booklets, books to make, and all the little insides here. So let's move that out of the way. They're fun to make. I don't know why. I guess because I like making small things. So the box I used on mine was was a Amazon box, one of the flatter ones. So this one here is another package that I got. That's no, it doesn't have no address. Oh yes, it does have an address. Thank you, sir. Did I show that part? Hold on, let me get my address off of here. One second, guys. Taking addresses off. There we go. This box is 11 by 12 and a half by two and a half. So you, the other one that I got from the, the um, Amazon is a little bigger, but it's still, the, you know, the it's narrow. So you don't have to have a deep fireplace. So we're going to um, close this side up because we don't need it open. And I'm going to be using hot glue. Okay. There we go. Tank says she's going to reboot. She's not seeing all the comments. Okay, Tank, we'll be here. Hello, Christine. Welcome back. So we got, so the, the box itself is closed up. I'm going to use this side over here because this one has all this tape on it. And when you paint on this tape, it doesn't look very nice. So... Even though this side looks better, um, cardboard-wise, I don't want to deal with that. So here's here's because you see this brick over here, but we're gonna cover all this up, so no big deal. I said that all in one breath, guys. <laughs> so let's get let's get to cutting and, and measuring. And like I said, this d depends on the size box that you have. And then you can just gauge gauge um, how how big of an opening you want. So I want to have like three and a half on either side, right? Let's see how, how big that gives me the opening. It gives me a six inch opening. Let's see. Because uh, three and a half and three and a half, I can get two bricks at inch and a half. I think that's a good size. Hi, Shay. Hi, Pam. And then I think uh, five. Five across. I mean, hi for the for for this guy here. So we're going to go and get this ruler. Because this ruler, I can line up down here, right? I'm making a small one, but you could easily um, use bigger boxes and do the, the same concept. Okay, that line is all crooked. 
Well, you know why? Because um, I need a new ruler. You see this metal piece? It came out. So let me go back over here. Hey, Connie. But you can do this, like I said, the, the same concept with bigger boxes. There we go. That looks better. I definitely need to get a new ruler. Because um, this one's been through a lot. Let's line this up over here. Line it up over here. There we go. It's been melted by hot glue right here. See this piece here? The, the, my hot glue gun sat on there and it melted over here. Now this piece is, is um, coming off. That's the metal piece that's supposed to stay in there. Hello, hot damn Elaine. And Pam said the L word. She says, I'll be lurky, lurky, Lulu, crocheting in the bushes. And I said that to hear Nancy say, lurky, lurky, Lulu. <laughs> okay, Pam, this is for you and all my other lurkers. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Pam, I, 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 need, I need to um, read comments before I say anything. Hello, Ms. Lisa. So now we're going to use a knife. And I guess, um, like I said, I need, I need a new ruler now. I'm going to use my metal ruler on this one. I like this one. I'll tell you why. This one had, had, of course, the metal came off. But it has this metal side where you can cut it, but... Because it has the lines inside here, I can line it up, right, and cut. This one, you have to measure and cut. If so, they, they all have their, 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 how you call it? Their jobs. There you go. So we're going to line this up, and we're just going to cut. Okay, and don't, don't don't cut the bottom here because this is gonna be the, like the 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 is it called the hearth, the part that comes forward in the front. I end up putting a second piece of cardboard over it to make it sturdier, but it gives you the base to do the other piece on. Here we go. This one is a little bit coaxing out of here. There we go. So you see this part? Oh, there's fabric in here. I didn't know there was fabric in there. So you got that. So you see here? I put another piece of cardboard here, not only to give it more sturdiness here, but because this there's a seam here, I want this to stay flat like this. Okay, now we're going to fill in these holes here on the side. So we're going to measure the height. It should be two and a half if the box is right. Yep, two and a half. So I got this, let's see which one, this, this cardboard here. These cardboards that I'm using today are actually the back panels of some of my paper packs. You see that the those the tape. So the back of the paper cap either has a flimsy cardboard or like this one, it's a harder cardboard. So I'll be using the, the flimsy for the, how you call it? For the bricks. 
And then this harder one is going to be to fill in the, the, center, the center there. So I'm going to be measuring two and a half. And then we're going to cut. Two and a half. Anybody else come in? Like I said, if 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 I miss saying seeing you come in, just say it again. I'll be looking up and down. There we go. Hey, Joe. Oops. So we need a question for today. Let's see. What is your favorite holiday drink? It depends on the mood I'm in. I like eggnog or I like um, spice cider. You know, the kind that you put in the crock pot all day. Just let it sit and simmer. That's pretty cool. Coquito, yeah. Nati, Nati knows. My sister makes coquito. She she makes some um, with rum and some without. That's a Puerto Rican um sort of eggnog sort of thing. But ours has. Hi, Darcia. Hi, Asia Joe. She, she has her volume down, but she'll be lurking in the bushes. That's fine, too. I'm just cutting cardboard now. That one got a little, little apple cider. Yes, apple cider. I like hot apple cider. There we go. Cardboard. Hello, Mr. Jerry. Let me see something. Hold on. Okay. So now, bring the box back over. So we have this for the sides. This could be for the bottom here. So I'm just going to line it up. Stay. Cut that out. Let's see. Oh, I think I ate too much or... or because I really didn't eat much today because, like I said, I, I woke up around 12 at 6 inches. Because the, the last couple of nights I've been up with pain in my feet, so I haven't slept much. So I actually had no pain last night, praise the Lord. And then when I got up at noon, I didn't feel like eating. So I didn't eat dinner until 5. I don't know. Is it because I ate too late? I'm not sure. My belly. But Earl had problems with his belly yesterday. So I don't know if there's something something going around or, or what. So pray that we're not getting something bad. Let's see. 
Hey, Miss Angela. Let's see who else came in. Okay, that's everybody that we see so far. Like I said, if I missed you, just say hello again. I don't mind being said hello to several times. Hello, Miss Adele. She, she she's she's one of the lurkers. So this is seven and a half from the inside to the outside here. So I'm cut this piece seven and a half, and that'll go right on top of that piece of cardboard to keep it from doing that from flapping open. Oh, she's watching on the TV and lurking. So we have to give her a lurker too. Lurker, lurker, loo. Now Pam has me saying lurker, lurker, loo, loo. Is that a new thing now? <laughs> So oh, you see this part here, how it keeps on doing that. So if I put this here and glue it down, it won't flip up anymore. So let's glue it down and we'll move on to the to the inside. And like I said, I'm, I'm just using hot glue here. Because this one, this one, I'm not sure what to do with this one. Maybe give it to my son for his room because I have one already on my desk, so I don't need a second fireplace. So I may give it to him. Henry says, I mean, Herb, I say Henry. Herb says he'll be right back. There we go. So you see now how oh, this is nice and stiff now so now we're going to go and do the inside here so i think i cut it cut that five inches yeah okay and what i do let's move this to the side i do not cut it all the way through because i'm going to fold it and overlap it I'll show you what I'm doing, talking about. Grab this one. I just I just say it all the time to my nieces and grands. When they've been silly, I call them turkey loo, turkey lurky lulu. <laughs> Are you trying to say I'm being silly, Pam? See here. I'm only going to go through it a couple times because I don't want to cut it all the way through. I just want it to bend. You see? I'll do the same thing over here. What did Larry? I just got through cutting a Steve Good pattern, three sets of Santas, and Miss Santa, and Fred the Rain. Fred the Reindeer? It's a multi-layered pattern. Ooh, cool. You definitely have to share that in the group, Mr. Larry. Now, nah, it's me tonight being silly. Hey, everyone, back to the bushes and crochet. <laughs> I'll start calling up your name, Pam, so you can keep on working. And speaking of Pam, she's one of the sellers on the auction on Friday. And one of my sellers, Mr. Charles from Drifter 3D, he will not be able to join us on Friday, but his information is still in the description box under that video. So if you'd like to order your own um, a three-dimensional project or one of his lithophanes or whatever, um, you can still contact him and, and place your custom order. So you, you, you can get something like, what is he? My little Grogu. 
he's holding a, a, a pine cone right now. But he, he made change, and then he also can get one of these. This one's a, it's a holographic rose, but you can get them in any many different colors. And it comes with a stem. You can choose to, to do it without a stem. So, so you can make place custom orders. Uh, unfortunately, he can't make it to the to the live. So now it's six sellers. <laughs> One auction. Well, well, it, 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 in a sense, he he's st he's still selling. It's just, it's just he won't be there. So I I I said I will keep keep his information up. Yes, I love that hollow. I'm glad he showed it. Because I had ch ch chosen a purple one. And um, when I saw that one, I was like, oh, that one has purple and a whole bunch of other colors. So depending on how the, how the light hits it. See, what I'm doing here is this is going to go like this. So the top is, is a little stronger. So you don't have to do that. I, I'm just a little extra sometimes. There we go. So now this will sit inside, what, what, wrong way, inside that panel. So before I glue this up, let's check this out. Oh, Nightbot's reminding you from my, my website, so I'm going to play my ad. Where is it? My website is sponsored by Mr. Harnell Media himself. And the information will be in the description box below after the live. That's when I'll, I'll populate everything, links and all that good stuff after the live. It's a little too tall on the side, so I'm going to, you know my favorite word, take a sliver off. There we go. On this side too. And I'm I'm using this this um blade instead of my my finger blade because I don't have a lot of a lot of um blades left and I want to keep those for my um wrong way. How you call it? Some of my more important projects that I need sharp blades for. This is just cardboard and it's gonna be painted and covered, so don't need don't need a pr pretty um pretty cuts. I know I know that, that that's weird coming from Nancy, right? And here's the inside of the fireplace. And now we're going to slide it in. Like Xander says, he slides in and says hello to everybody. So I'm going to hold on, let me get my my poker tools. There we go. Yeah, 
Let's bring this guy back over here, and then we'll slide everything back into, into place. There we go. I want this on the inside, so I'm going to lift this guy up a little bit. Let's, come on, get up. Go up. Got any questions or comments or, or what is Nancy doing? Just let me know. Yeah, I'm standing it up because I want to make sure that this nice and flat on the bottom. Oh, that one moved. Hold on. There we go. That one. So now what I want to do is put glue at the bottom. Slide it back over. Come on. There we go. So I just put glue right here at the bottom. There. Right there to keep that from sliding back and forth. Do that to the other side as well. And bring it over. There. What made you decide to go to college for architecture and construction engineering? Um, my dad. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I liked, um, oh, <laughs> I'm decorating my blue gun. And I liked, um, you know, designing buildings and stuff like that. I worked for a contractor. Well, several contractors throughout the years. Hello, Storm Radios and Cats. And then the, the last job I had was working for an architect um, when I was work, living in Tallahassee. I don't know why this one is higher than this one. But that's fine. It's going to be painted black. You're not going to see it. Um, I was laid off. And um, I couldn't find a job with anybody that with my degree. So the only job that I was able to get was driving a school bus. And I did that for about two years. And then, um, then I had my son. Then I, 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 I did not work what, till about 2015 when I started working for a school, another school board, as the, as the. Hold on a second, let me get this. What they call them, um, a community involvement specialist. Which basically is, is, is like a liaison between the parents and the teachers. And I did a lot of um, workshops with the parents where, they, where I taught, taught them to paint. It, basically what I'm doing here, but with the, with the parents itself. They, they would come to the school and they would paint or do a, um, a project. And I would give them information and stuff so they can do that at home with their children so it's, it's something to to get the parents involved and then they involve their kids and then um i haven't gone back it's not something that i want to go back to architecture and stuff like that it's not something that i'm passionate about anymore so right now this is what i'm doing now and I'm liking it, so we'll see where it goes from here. So there's a, the inside, the outside, and the, the this guy is, is basically done. So now we're going to go grab some black paint and, and paint the whole thing black. And I'm using a big, big brush or semi-big brush. I don't have anything bigger than this. And, and just 
the reason for painting the whole thing black so when you do the the bricks the black is basically the the grout line so you don't have to worry about you know filling in the grout line afterwards the way i'm doing having to do with my game room where i i didn't do the back black and now i'm having to add um grout lines with some glue and, and paint so I just wanted something quick and easy for the, the fireplace. You're welcome, Miss Angela. Thank you for, for asking. And here is Nightbot reminding us about the Santa's workshop. Yes, please join us. Share with your friends. The more, the merrier. We got so many different people selling items, and I've been sharing that on my community tab. So check that out to see what's available. And you could probably find exactly what you need for your loved ones. And this is a messy, messy um, coat because um, most of this is going to be covered with the bricks. So, and I'm only going to paint the, the the front and the inside here. I'll finish the, the rest of it off screen. You don't need to see me paint this whole thing black. So we can start working on the bricks. And there we go. Just paint the inside. It's looking like a fireplace already. So sorry, I had to leave one of my friends' channel. Mano's marker. Her name is Brenda. It's very sick. Please, everyone. And this craft community sent her some prayers. Yes, um, Monarch's Market. I, I do watch her a lot. So we need to um, keep our, 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 our friends that are not feeling well very in our prayers. So, so we have some people saying apple cider, hot apple cider, coquito. What else are your favorite drinks during the holiday? Well, I don't. I don't drink either. Um, I, I mean, um, what, what's your favorite holiday drink? Like, you know, hot chocolate or stuff, stuff like that. I don't drink either, Miss Liz. That's a, that's a whole nother story. Why I don't drink, but that's that's my story. So we're almost done with this, this portion of the project, and then we go on to the bricks. Painting the top here is a little hard because of this guy here, but you can do it. Just take your time.
Okay. There we go. Hot chocolate with a candy cane as a stir stick. Ooh. Lots and lots of marshmallows. Of course, marshmallows. I've been wanting to do those hot chocolate balls. You know, the kind, the kind of, that you, you make in, um, with hot chocolate, I mean, with um, chocolate, and then add all the cool stuff inside, and then when you put it into a hot chocolate or pour hot water on it, they, 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 um, they open up. I've been wanting to do that. But that, that requires, a, a, you know, supplies. <laughs> One of these years. There we go. And don't forget on the sides as well here. You don't have to paint the bottom because you're not going to be picking it up. But the, the, the front and the sides, you, I would. Because you don't want the cardboard to show through. There we go. Like I said, I'll paint the, I'll paint the sides and the top later. We're just going to go from here. So here's the front. The inside. So we're going to sit that to the side and let that dry up. And now we're going to start working on some bricks. And so I'm going to take this tape off. And what I do is, is I paint it on the cardboard itself and then I cut it. So when I cut the bricks, you get the different shades of color. But I need to take this tape off because uh, you want to do the, do it on, the, there's a shiny side and then the cardboard side. So you want to paint on the cardboard side. The paint sticks better to the cardboard side. Then it, so what I'm doing is mixing some red paint. Hello, Fabi. Long time no see. So I'm just mixing some, and I'm using the same brush that I painted the black. So when I go over here, hold on a second. I'm there. So I don't get paint on my mat. So I'll do that. So when you start cutting these out, you, you'll get the different shades of the red and black. And you mix it up and you got nice looking bricks. And what I did on the on mine, I added some some gray after after the fact. So you can do some highlights and stuff. Ooh, careful, that's very, very wet. I think I put too much on there, but hey, that's fine. So we're just gonna do this. Do you see all the different reds and blacks on there? So we're gonna put this to the side because if I'm not mistaken, I did I did three or two or three of these um, cardboards. So again, since I have paint still on my brush you just keep on you see some 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 will be, will be real dark hello mr bailey so by doing this with the different colors you get the different tones of brick since this is a smaller um Fireplace, I don't think I need more than two of these boards. So, okay, a little bit more red over here. Oh, dang it. I got paint on my shirt. And it's one of my Christmas shirts. <laughs> I just have to make some, make some more shirts. 
It's one of the ones I made, so I still have the file on my on my computer. Okay, so we're gonna let these sit here for a second and dry. I got paint all over my arm, all over my shirt. That's how the paint got on my shirt, because I got it on my arm. So let's move this over this way. Because I want this to, to dry flat. I don't want it to. There we go. And then this one over here. Let's grab it over here. Bring it over here. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. I have to go dehydrate. So talk, talk amongst yourselves. Well, I think that's awesome. Big old mess in my set, my like burns. No, it's not blood. It's just Nancy Jean Nancy. Okay, I'll be right there. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. Usually I have someone that does intermission for me, but he's not here right now. See what uh, what else, what did I miss? Storm radios and cats says he added another can of cocoa to his grocery list. Grocery list. Oh, just when well, you came about five five seconds too late for my intermission. And and um, Billy said he's got great grandbaby number three. Congrats. Yeah. And then he says his dinner is about to walk through the door. I was I was thinking of maybe having it for, for a snack later. I'll be okay. Okay, we're going to um help this along with my heat gun. So um I'll be muting so you guys don't hear all this noise.
I'm still here. Another minute. I'll be back. I'm back. Put to the side. This one's still a little damp, so we're gonna stick it to the side for now because we don't need to cut it right right now. And then we're gonna grab this one here and cut this piece of tape that's over here because I don't need that. Okay, move all this out of the way. Oh, you, can, you, can, you can see my shirt. You see the paint on it. Oh well. Life life that's life, right? So now we're going to cut the one I made for myself since I like I said it's 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 a little bit bigger than this one. I cut my bricks at an inch and a half. But since this one is smaller, so I'm going to cut the, the bricks at one one inch by three. So I'm just going to cut strips of one inch first and then cut those in strips of three. So you, you can see already how, how the, the, the bricks are going to be different depending on where you cut them and how you glue them. We have two hearts from Facebook side. Yay. Hello, Neil. Looks like a sunset. A dark sunset. Oh, this one has tape over here, too. Hold on. Take that out. Okay. It's my favorite cut, but it's been through a lot. This blade doesn't stick, stay in here anymore. Um, I have, I've had, it's fallen, so I've had to glue this bar to here. But I like this one better than the other one that has a wire, because I know that right there on, on the edge of this metal is not going to flex. And and I'll show you what I mean about the wire on the other one that I have. Because the other one is the one that I got first, and then I see, and when I open it up, the blade falls out. So Nancy needs to get a new one soon. But that's okay. This one is working just fine. I just gotta be careful that up here it won't it won't come come off. It comes off over here for some reason. I don't know. Oh, we got paint. Now I got. Hold on. Let me get the paint off of it before. I guess Fabi's answering about her little baby. She says, he's great, Sandra. Getting chunky now. He's scooting around on the, on the floor. He's almost crawling, but he's just scooting for now. Awesome, Fabi. Well, he's what, six or seven months old? Or I, I forget. It's been a while. I'm going to show you the, the difference between these two these two cutters this one has the, the metal bar see this one here I don't let's see where is my thing you see you see that that wire right there you line up the paper through that wire and, and it cuts right along that wire but the problem is as you can tell the wire moves so sometimes you don't get the the, the blade in the right spot because it moves six months tomorrow I was close. 
So that's why I don't like this one as much as this one because th this is a metal bar back down. This is a metal bar, so it's not going to flex. So when you're cutting here, right? This one also, the blade comes off too. It's, for some reason, you see, it's not, I haven't used it in a while. So, so depending on, you know, you line up your paper, right? And you line it up to that line. And sometimes the, 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 the bar moves or something like that. I don't know why it's not. Well, it doesn't matter because I don't use this one as much. It's stuck in there. Oh, well. Hello, Miss Dawn. But that's the difference in, 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 in these. And there's another, another one like this, but it has a rotary blade here. So this one has the, the V cutting blade. So you can cut up and down. But there's also one from Fiskars that has a, a roly, rotary braid that looks like this. Where is it? Oh, here we go. It looks like this, but it's on the bar itself. So it slides up that way. Let me get some of that paint off. They say the rotary blade is better because you don't you don't get nicks on it as much, but it's also more expensive. So we're going to get I'm gonna stack these in twos and just cut them three inches. Like this. Uh, I guess I won't be able to second and two. What did I mean, miss? Okay, I see what what what's 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 going on there. No problem. So I'm just gonna cut these bricks three inches. And I, and I won't I won't um have you sit here to, for me to 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 put all of them on. So I'll do one section. And so you can see what I'm doing. Because once you once you do a side, you can figure out how to do the rest. I'm sure you you guys have other other places to go, other people to see. And I have loads of work to do. I finished cutting the fabric. For that second set of the nightmare um, items, so I'll be sewing that tomorrow, and then I have to finish the curly cues on the the unicorn. Those I can actually do while I'm watching TV. I've been watching um, Psych from the beginning because it's. It's something that I've seen before, so I don't have to really sit and watch. So we're gonna cut those, cut these bricks, and now we're gonna glue them. Hi, Tinker Bella. How are you feeling, ma'am? Hi, Paula. I missed you coming in. Sorry. So we're going to, let's see how I'm going to do this so you guys can see it the best. This guy is blocking. So here we go. I'm going to do it from the, from the bottom up, but upside down because this is giving a, a shadow. You know what? I, I think I cut the, 
Okay, th this one could could. Okay. I didn't mean to do it. I think I needed to do it um smaller. But this fine. Th this makes it makes the job faster. Because all I gotta do is cut these in half. So um, let me grab some scissors real quick, and I'm gonna cut these in half by hand. Where's my Where's my fancy scissors? Here they are. So let me, let me do two at a time. Cut these in half. There we go. Cut some more in half. What are you talking about, Garcia? I I I don't I don't um pick the ads. That's YouTube. What you call it? They're the ones that pick up the ads. Actually, I can't do it that way because I can't see what I'm doing over here. So I need I need to do it this way. So I'm just using hot glue today. And just laying it where it's even on all three sides here, because that's the grout line. I should probably ask what you are making today. I'm making, um, I have a fireplace. Actually, just I need to cut this a, a little bit more because of the grout in the center. I have a fireplace that I made out of cardboard on my desk. And I've had people ask me how I made it. So that's what I'm doing. Giving you the, the, the quick rough um, tutorial on how I made it. He's feeling better today. He's he's lying down again. So I, I think what I think it is is it's with him getting up so early to go get his mom ready for the morning and then going back at six to get her you know medicine and then going back at eight to get her into bed after you know working an eight hour day it's catching up to him. So he, he, just, he just needs some rest. And line it up over here. I know it's not even. I think I should have kept the, the, the bricks together that were the same size. Oh, well. It's brickwork, right? All bricks are not even, right? Especially if they're made by hand. And once I finish over here, I'll show you the, the one I made. So you can see what you can do or not do once once you finish with the, the basics you can decorate it any which way you want i know john's probably squirming over there with me not having these nice and straight sorry john but like i said this is probably going in my son's room and he's okay with however it looks so we're good to go. There we go. I'll finish this later. 
because we've been here an hour already. So there's how that that side looks. I, I know I, I was I didn't do mine with hot glue, so it's a lot different. Hello, living my best life. Bobby says you are quite the mason. LOL. The patience you have, God bless you. Thank you. I don't Amazon like box like that. So I might try to make a fireplace. Yes, do so. So the, you see how the way I, I painted the, the bricks onto the onto the board. So depending on on how you put it on, it gives you the the, the different effects of the different colors. So let me um go to the other camera so you can see my other my the actual one that I have on my desk. So you just keep on adding and adding and adding until you finish all your brickwork. So I have I have all my brickwork down here. Remember? So I, I I'm not gonna put this to go to waste so hold on a second. Try turn this off. I have all my all my bricks to do so oh you know what I, I can have my son do it do it himself he can do that have him give him a project and neil says he has to be right back he needs to clock in boy you, you better be working <laughs> it's not that hard as 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 just a uh let me see if i can get this over here so you guys can see it a little closer Closer together. And if you want, you can add a mantle to it as well. Oh. You can add a mantle to it. But because of mine, the way the bricks ended up, I didn't have enough room for another row of bricks. So this this black actually is like the mantle. You know, but you could add a, um, you know, some more cardboard to, to build up build up the mantle. And then I, I, I um, push pin these little stockings that Miss Lisa from um, Lisa Nets and Vlogs sent me. And I made these string of lights a couple years ago. And, and I, I made some, um, some single ones last year. And then I went to the yard and grabbed some of this. And there's... See, again, I also um, didn't start completely at the bottom, so it has like a base sort of from the black. So, see, I did it all the all the bricks up here, and then you see right some in areas here. I added some white to make it, it gives it a little more dimension. And it, it's actually the, oops, there goes the, the firewood. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you, show you. This is what this is. It's a, oh, where is it? Okay, I painted it. It's an Amazon box, but it's, it's the thin, the, the narrow ones. So I, I didn't have to cut, like I did with this one here, I didn't have to cut the, the actual size. I just cut the inside out. I'm gonna put that light back over there. This, whoops, this little guy that I got from um, Dollar General fits right on top of the fireplace. So if, if you wanted to, you could probably put some um, lights in there. I, I tried to put a push light, but the, the light is too intense. I'll show you. I have these push lights over the miniature that I have in my room. And I just put that like that and covered it up. Well, it's not, actually, it doesn't look so bad now. So it looks like a little a light at fi fire if you wanted to. Or you can get some fairy lights. I don't have fairy lights, so but it's just there. And then I got my grill glue on this side. And my little 
this guy over here. So let me, um, any questions, comments, inquiries? Angela says, and Jeannie from Butterfly Dreams made some stockings last night that will fit perfectly in the fireplace. Go for it. I felt inside to look like flames. Oh, I could do that. Because this is so dark in here now. I have a, I'll, I'll probably do that. Should I do it now? Do you guys want to wait? Give me a yes and I'll go get the felt. Thank you, Darcia. Let me go get some felt. Okay, red, yellow, yellow, orange. Right? Red, yellow, orange. Let's see what colors I have in here. I think that's just red and yellow that I have that will go with this. That's okay. You can work with that. There we go. I got some. It's not really yellow, it's more like an orangey yellow school bus. That. So let's take this off. We'll just kind of cut some shapes and put it inside the there. So the opening we have is I forgot the opening already on mine. It is eight inches. Okay. So we're going to Start with a base of eight inches and then we'll add to it. Okay. I'm lining this up on the side here so I can line that up. And I'm using my rotary cutter. Hold on. There. There we go. So that's the eight inches, right? So we're just gonna start cutting flames. We don't want it too high. That should be high enough. Hi, Miss Jeannie. Did I say hello to Miss Shay? I think I saw her earlier somewhere else. That's where, that's where. If I didn't say hello, hello. Thank you for joining us. This is a little flimsy to, to, to work, but we're, we're doing this good. And watch what, what I'm going to do with this off cut. I'm 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 thinking I'm using my overhead camera. I'm not. Let me switch that to that real quick. There we go. I've I've never cut flames before, so we're we're just willy nilly here. Okay, I, so, I, so I did see you here earlier. Okay. It, it, my days are all messed up, so. I 
I've been I've been MIA from from YouTube for a while. So every time I go on to somebody's lives, like, what day was it again that I went to their live? There we go. And this this one here that I cut off, don't don't throw it away. We're just gonna finish it and put it on top of the orange. So we're going to do this the same thing over here. Right? Cut this on the side here. And we want it shorter than the red, right? So we're going to cut it here. I got commissioned to make another doll. So that's going to be exciting. So again, we're going to just willy nilly cut this. I'm sure if I, if I, if I actually went to and, you know, took my time, I could make this look a little nicer, but like I said, I don't want you guys to stay here when you can be going somewhere else and watching other creators. Since I'm going to be here every day for the next 20 days, you'll be seeing plenty of me. Okay. Everybody's saying hello to everyone that's coming in. If I miss you, just say hello again, and I'll say hello to you again. And just trimming off the little raggedy edges like this there. So we're going to put this down, right? Put this down right here. Right, and then the red that we cut earlier, put it in between here, right, and then the yellow, put it in between over here. And there's my flames. Oh, this is what I, I, I did last year with the 25 days of Christmas DIY. So I, I said I had fun doing that. So I'm doing it again. Let me go get the fireplace. But this year is not, they're, they're not surprises because I'm, I'm picking what I'm making each day. Because I don't have my little um, advent house that I had last year. And I don't have a lot of the supplies that I had last year as well, so I'm I'm um, picking what I'm doing because depending on the supplies that I have. So we're gonna put that there. I'm gonna be using fabric track for this because I don't want the hot glue to burn my fingers when I put it put it down here. So I'm just going to put it down at the bottom of the edges to keep it in place. What kind of turtle, Karen? She said she found a pattern on Repeat Craft for Me. Someone wants one. It's going to be pink. Oh, cool. I found a, a cousin of mine posted a Grinch pattern, a free Grinch pattern that I shared on my Facebook. But I, I told her that I, I wouldn't be able to make it this year. 
but I did save it to my computer so I can work on it next year. So I'll, I'll be making some Grinches next year. Because I, I still have to make four cows, a duck for my nieces. So once the, the auction is over, I'll be working on those. Billy is back. Welcome back, Billy. This, I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit at the bottom. Hello, Kelly. Thank you. And then the last layer. Actually, I'm gonna cut this bottom of the section here. And just cut some of these off a little bit because they're too tall. And this one. Okay. Grab some glue. Thank you, Karen, for this idea. I never thought about adding flames to the back. I should have made the flames not as wide, but hey, we're there already. This is just for fun. Okay, then we got the, the logs back in, right? So that's going to be, let me put, put it up. There we go. So we got the, the wood, right? And we got the little flames in the back. I'm going to go back there. So that's, like I said, the, the one I started today, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit smaller, you see? It's about four inches smaller and a couple inches taller. So I'll finish that later. And then we got this, and let's put back the, the countdown up here again. It was my, my flames. I could move it around if I wanted to. Put this down a little bit. It won't be so flat on top of the, the cardboard. There we go. But this one goes up. There we go. Get my grill goo back over here. And they can help me hold a, a light bulb, right? There we go. Go, go, hold the light bulb. Can you hold the light bulb? There? Okay. Thank you. So there goes.
the fireplace with some flames now. I wish I had some other colors that, you know, give it, give it some depth besides the yellow and the red. But that's what I have. So that's the project for today. You talk, I, I, I didn't use hot glue this time. I used um, Fabri-Tac. I'll I'll be I'll be adding the rest of the the bricks to the other the other little um, fireplace. Oh, I see what you mean. Don't burn yourself. The flyer, fire fire. <laughs> I get it now. I had to read up the comments higher. Oh, Shay says, Nancy, I was sharing my dad what you do on your miniatures. My dad said, did you know your great-grandma was a miniature maker? She had no idea. That is too cool. So there we go. So come back tomorrow for day number six. I really don't know what I'm doing yet. That that happens during the night when, when I can't sleep. I, I I come up with some ideas. But in, in the meantime, I'll be making more of these little mini mini books. And, and let me know what you think. Because they're small, but they take a they take a a while to make. Because it has all the little little pieces and stuff inside. So it's not like it's, you know, I can just charge a dollar for the paper because it, it, it's my time too. But I don't know if it's worth it to sell. But I'm I'm enjoying them making them. So if, if anything, they'll, they'll be sitting in my, they're too big for the miniature um, library. So I'm, I may make a little bookcase for it. Who knows? I don't know. Oh no, that, that's what Earl Earl um, was complaining yesterday. Body aches. Yeah, the, the other the other one I did um I did add it to. I added a a little hanger to hang it on a tree. Oh. I, I don't know if, if 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 Miguel from Who Knows is here, but he asked about a, an ornament with a chicken. So I made a little ornament with a chicken. I cut that out and, and mod podged it onto the onto the wood slice. So if you have any suggestions or ideas? Let me know. Because I have all these wood slices that I can use. So I can make all kinds of different. I think uh, one of my ornaments is going to be a cow, of course. So we'll see what day I, I add the cow. Yes, too many nasty viruses. Yes, prayers for everybody that that, especially this month. You got we don't we don't need to be sick. Enjoy our time with our families. Yes, baby Yoda. Grogu, he's right there. And I'm going to be getting some paint to paint him. Because I, I don't have a lot of paint. And most of my paint is um old and dried up. And I want to get the, the right colors for him. So one of these days, we'll, we'll be painting him. And I need, I need um some fine tip brushes too, because I don't have... I don't have that many thin brushes because some of the details um, you're gonna need some fine fine brushes. So that, that that'll be on my list too. Get some fine fine detail brushes and good paints to paint him. 
Oh, put one on the, on, on the wood rounds. Oh, gotcha. I guess I could do that. I can put it. I can paint the Grogu on, on there. Bye, Ms. Adele. And before um, we go, we go away. Let's do one more lurker. And then we're going to do um, the auction right after it. So I'll see you after those two. Karen says, I got one at Hobby Lobby and it's done um, in markers. See you guys tomorrow. Don't forget that the auction is on Friday. And instead of the seven um, sellers, we're going to have six sellers. Wait, it's not over? Yes, it is over. It, it, it's already been an hour and a half and I don't want to keep you guys here too long. So until tomorrow... Because I said next time, but I know what next time is tomorrow here at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll see what day six brings us. So um, let's do the outro and um, I'll see you next time.